Hello again, folks, and welcome to something different. I'm bored out of my mind and I want to record something, so I figured, hey, I've been playing Slay the, Sl Slay the Spire for a little bit. Uh, haven't unlocked everything, but I feel like doing a daily climb, because why the hell not? I've actually never done the daily climb. So you start with five colorless cards, red cards now appear in rewards in shops. So, cool stuff. Card rewards contain only two cards. Interesting. I'm not actively really participating in like, oh hey, let's uh, hello. Alright, good shit. I'm not actively really looking to be the very best like no one ever was kind of a thing. I just, I just play this game for ch shapes and giggles, so. So with five file cards, when you apply the buff. They take five damage. That's awesome. Put an attack from your draw pile to your hand. Exhaust. Cool. Now these guys are annoying in that if I hit them, eh, they suddenly hole up and be bastards about it. So let's add Slash of Steel. Yeah, just as planned. Um, that's about it for that turn. So for those that don't know what the hell Slay the Spire is, kind of a uh, card game slash turn based thing. Ooh. Okay. Uh, okay. Not exactly as planned, but hey. Sure, we'll take Panache. I'll, that thing's going to be dead next turn, I swear. Uh, but pretty much as you play cards, you have a limited amount of energy that you can use the cards with. Indicated at the top right of these. Gain 30 block, jeez. Overkill. And there are several different characters that you can play as uh, in this game. Which is fantastic. So... When you slice, or when you kill people and finish off the thing, you get rewards. Like Slice. That's a good card. Relatively speaking. As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and grinding of metal. Ooh. This one. So, the... Eh, the uh, events can be good, can be bad, or can be just more battles. This is both good and bad. Ow. 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 Whenever you use potion, heal 5 HP. I guess that's worth it. I just need some potions. I'm kind of playing this as though uh, people already know what Slay the Spire is because it has been out for some time. But I'll try to be a little bit more... Hey, here's what happens with this game. Uh... Random cards. Yeah, let's do transmutation to get the bomb. I like the bomb. It's two of the bombs. Why not? Because <laughs> why the frick not? And uh, punch it. Excellent. Splash of steel. Lice. Oh god, that's just a good assortment of hand. So yeah. Uh, you get separate characters that you can play as. This particular character, the Silent, is good with a lot of uh, heavy combos and whatnot. And applying poisons and various, various status effects. Uh, a lot of their cards are low cost, but low effect sort of things. So you'll see a lot of zeros in their decks, but with, you know, four some odd plus damage costs. Well, that's for each card discarded this current turn. Oof. That's a nasty one, but I think I'll take Deflect. I'm not sure how much. Now, uh, when your HP hit zero, you're dead. And there's going to be a lot of times where it's like, hey, do you want this 11, this 75 gold or your HP? It's like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll take the HP. There's shops. Where you can buy more cards, 
The red cards don't usually appear in this character's decks. These belong to... I forget their name. The Ironclad, that's it. And I really like the iron Ironclad. Each time you lose HP this combat, that's not terrible. There's also relics. Ooh, that's nice. Each one of them have different effects. Do not play any attacks during your turn. Gain next turn. That's not terrible. I might take that. Yeah, it's this and this. And if people are like, no, oh, no, you don't play those cards. That, that card sucks or something. Um, I'm not good at this game. First and foremost. I've never been get that good at the, these kind of games. But I do like playing them. Let's see, I'm not going to use the panic button. Let's use transmutation see what we get. Exhaust three cards in your hand. Dynamic entry. Choose one of three random cards to add to your hand. It costs zero. Go... Clothesline. You might think, oh, but the blood for blood. This does damage, but it also causes weakened, and which we want because this guy is a pain in the ass. Uh, after this turn, he will buff up, hence indicated by this. With an ability that makes it so as whenever the hell I use a skill card, which the silent is just built to the room of skill cards, let me tell you. He is going to gain two strength. Now that two strength is then going to be added on top of his damage. So you might be thinking, oh, why don't you just not use skill cards? Because attacks hurt. And the defense cards are skill cards. Ooh, sadistic nature. There we go. Let's see, discard a card. So really most of these bosses you really want to try to take out as fast as insanely possible. Because, you know, it gets pretty ludicrous. And because of that Tori Ornithopter, I gained 5 HP back, which is good because I think this guy's about to kill me. See, now, since I have that sadistic card, what I really need is something to make it so as I can do a lot, and I do mean a lot, of... Yep, that works. Uh, a lot of different status effects, debuffs, poison, stuff like that. Of which the Silent has a lot of in their deck choices. It's just that you gotta be lucky. Ooh, Akabeko. Your first attack, each combat deals eight additional damage. Pretty nice. So yeah, I would want stuff like Intimidate. Add a shiv for each card you discarded. That's not terrible either. Let's go with War Intimidate though. Because I'm terrible at this. Before you lies in an elaborate shrine, I can get a lot of money, get a lot, a lot of money, but get a curse, uh, lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand. Sure. Oh, what I should have considered is if there's going to be a shop anywhere close by. Because once you're on one of these paths, there's, um... There is a specific item that will help you, you know, move the paths, but otherwise, you're stuck. Hmm. Well, there's regret. Already regret taking it. Hey, okay. Um. Oh, right. The Akapeko has makes it so as my first attack does a shite load of damage. I can just discard that, luckily. What attack cards do I have that deal a lot of damage? None. All I have is a bunch of... Alright. Uh... Strike. Strike. I would secret weapon, but there's no point in it, seeing as I don't have the energy. A lot of the combat's sometimes about, uh... Sustaining energy. So if we... Actually... 
This is a skill. Flies weak. But I can just, uh... Yeah, why not? Just the cost of your turn to one. Sure, why not? So since I didn't play any actual attack cards, that was a skill card that hit him with weak. The Art of War here will grant me an additional... <laughs> an additional energy that I don't need because I just drew practically all of my zero cost cards. Cool. Fantastic. They might also be thinking, hey Dar, how is it you know what the hell they're going to do? Well, over their head, they have a little icon that tells you, hey, we're going to have this, this effect this time. And, um, yeah. Well, he's only going to gain block and buff himself, unfortunately. That would have been an excellent turn to have some goddamn attacks. Eh, flash of the hand. Slice, strike. Eh, discard the enlightenment. There we go. He's dead next turn if I manage to draw an attack. Please. Thank you. At least a couple of strikes. Gain 5 block, deal 5 damage. That's a good card. That's just a good card in general. Every time you play 3 skills in a single turn, deal 5 damage to all enemies. That is nice, especially for the silent. Ah, uh, medium slimes and these guys. Alright. So I need to play 3 skills in a single turn. So that's one. Um, ooh, why not? I'm gonna drop the bomb. Choose one of three. Oh, hell yeah. Whenever you draw a status card, gain seven block. Who's attacking right now? No one. So I don't need to worry about block. Let's do pummel strike. Bonk. Uh, bonk. Ah, dang it. Kinda hoping I could trans transmute into the transmute. So the slimes are annoying. Uh, if you don't kill them before you reduce them down to half your half their HP, uh, they end up splitting. Now that wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that also applies additional like more more things come to attack you, which. Sucks. Let's see. But the benefit of splitting them, though, is that then that's one less. They won't attack on their turn. You're effectively stunning them for a little bit. Now, I might as well play the rest of these. Oh, no. Maybe that's only larger ones. I'm not entirely sure. Again. I've been playing this for a little bit, but it's been a while since I played. Mystic nature. Nice. Skill. Skill. Alright. And then the bomb wears off. Four plated. Yes. Crippling cloud. That's just cut off your hand. Ah, see. These ones are hard. They're unplayable, but they have specific specific effects, like if you can manage to discard them, like draw two cards, which is nice, but the problem is, is, you know, being lucky enough to get it. Oh no, not these guys. Hate these centuries. Alright, put that up. So, sentries are annoying. Um, there's always the three of them. One of them will attack, and then two of them will cause a debuff. And then, it will swap. So these two will attack, and then this one will debuff. These guys will constantly put dazed cards, which effectively just waste your space. <sighs> Can't have that. And more annoyingly, you see I have the Crippling Cloud, which I really want to cast. 
but they all have an ability called Artifact, which makes it so as a, a buff, or a, a singular debuff, will be prevented, which is, uh, no bueno. Usually, I like to murder the ones that are, uh, that are capable of stunning me first. So let's see what we got. Couple three random skills need to draw the pile, sure. And then that will cause damage. Put a card from your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. It costs zero. Actually, let's put you at the bottom of my draw pile. Off your discard pile, draw a card. Why not? That's three skills. No, that's only two. Shut up. Um, secret weapon. Let's do slice. That's another damage. I'm not gonna bother with using the panic button just yet. Maybe next turn when both of those guys are able to. Well, I say when. Yeah. I would rather use it to prevent as much damage as possible. Ooh, doubles the enemy's poison. Too bad no one is poisoned. I could apply... <sighs> you need to be careful with what you put in your deck. So these guys are now weakened. So they're only going to do 6 as opposed to 9. I will defend. Defend. He has no poison, but heck it. Yeah. That plated armor is put to some good use. More days. So this guy's gonna be able to die. Crap it. Uh, dead. Get some deflect up in here. I'm not gonna be able to kill anything this turn. Which is cruddy. I got a lot of money. I really wish that I could have hit up another shop. When you play an attack this turn, gain three block. I happen to have three forms of attack, so. Be careful. Ooh, that thing returns. I'm not sure why I bothered playing it, but okay. One of the great things about plated armor is that you that its effect is only reduced if you take hit point damage. So, yeah. Actually, hold up. Defend for zero. Fly weak anyway. Kill that guy so he doesn't stun me. Hit him with a strike. That was good. Oh, okay. I think I'm at a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Meak. Shmeak. Okay. Regal Pillow allows me to heal more when I rest at a campfire. Distilled Chaos. An excellent car... Excellent, uh... Thing if you ask me. Poison Stab. Take that. So along the way, we'll also find these campfires where you can either rest or upgrade a card with some additional effects if you, you know have them. Let's see. Let's put on Sadistic Nature. Neutralize. These guys are super annoying. I freaking hate them. So, every time they attack, they have an ability called Thievery, which allows them to steal 15 gold from me when they attack. Uh, that wouldn't be too shabby, if it weren't for the fact that eventually they will just run away after like four turns. I don't want them to run away with my money. Let's see. Yeah, let's apply poison to you. Poison is awesome, and it's pretty much the only thing I really ever do uh, when I play as the silent. Every turn, they will take the amount of poison damage, and then the poison damage will be reduced. But if you have a fast enough poisonous deck, you can just straight up murder someone within before the uh, start of their first turn. Let's see. Deal five damage if the enemy has weak. Gain one energy and draw a card. Yes. 
my deck is getting a little bit thick, so I'm kind of hoping that I can find some way to remove it. Ooh, buy a couple of potions? Sure. Strength. Smoke bomb's not bad. Basically, I can just run away from a singular fight if I use a smoke bomb. Kind of tempting against this guy. Later, bitches! So yeah, we can heal a 30% 30, 30 on my HP, 21, plus 15% because of the regal pillow, which will... Will that max? No, that won't max me, but it brings me close to max. Or we can go to the smith and upgrade one of my various cards. I really wish that sadistic nature would have a nate, which is an ability to make it so as they... Oh, excuse me. Makes it so as they uh, always appear first when I draw a card. At the very first sign of combat, I mean. Hmm. Kind of do wish I could have removed a couple of these. But what you gonna do? I think I'm gonna heal. This, uh, this first boss is kind of gnarly. Ah, uh, the Guardian. A very stereotypical of a name of your own. So I'll play that. The enemy has weak. No weak. Strike, strike. I've got the letter opener. So I might... It's one of those I might as well... Uh, play the cards I have things. So as long as I play three skills in a singular turn, doesn't matter if they're effective or not. Just, I gotta play them. Oh yeah, this guy's lovely. So this guy has an interesting gimmick. He has a mode shift after doing so much damage to him. As in here, he will shift into this mode. And he'll stay like this for a couple of rounds and then pain. He's my buff. Gain a little bit of... Ah, uh, yeah. Game sharp hide. So, sharp hide is kind of like thorns. Uh, when you would attack him, he, you take damage. Which sucks. I'm going to buff up a little bit and use crippling cloud instead. Um, put up a neutralize. Yeah. The good thing is, though, that after this combat, this guy, when this guy dies, my HP will be restored to full. So I can pretty much go full bore on this sucker. Uh, just kind of sucks to do so when he's got thorns and is hitting you pretty much every turn. I could throw the Chaos Potion down. Hmm. Now that's... Oh, hello. Heal hook. Bam. Gain back an energy. Activate... Could I activate the panic button? I'm gonna transmute first. Madness. Strike. Quick punch in the face. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero this turn. The Madness is a fantastic card. I would love to have more madnesses. Problem is, is that I really don't have anything to benefit from that. Alright, how much a... Uh, uh, I'm not gonna take damage. 12 damage? Yeah, let's use the panic button. Actually, wait. How many turns is that? Yeah, why not? Activate the defend. Oh, right, because the panic button, I can't gain any more block. That's fine. Alright. So the poison does seem to also go towards his mode shift. It was only a little bit annoying. So, let's see. Weaken him. Strike. Strike. Uh, really no point in defending. But luckily, this will be the last turn that I can't game block. 
So I can actually start, you know, defending again. There we go. Defend. 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 Get rid of the iron wave. This turn comes around. It takes a little bit of poison. Yeah, with that sadistic nature, I really need to focus more on doing, like, poisonous damage to him. Or focus entirely on getting poisonous effects anyway. Maybe that removing that curse, but... We'll see. Okay. You'll also see his mode shift keeps on going up more and more. Uh, the more turns that he remains in combat. Not very great. I want faster poison. Alright, swift punch in the flash of steel. We'll transmute. Alright. Probably blind. Give him some weakness. Uh, might as well use forethought on this attack. Why not? And that. And damn. I was about to say, can I use more? Can I use enough? Uh, enough of my cards in order to get another five damage? No. All right. Going for a big hit. He's already weak. So why not? back into this form. Kind of pointless to make most any attacks on him. But I will animate anyways because it's fun to see numbers go down. Might also be wondering, hey Dar, do you always put this little thought into pretty much playing this game? Yes. But it's been working for me. Ooh, the poison potion. Excellent. In Venom, whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. After image, when you play a card, gain one block. Let's go with Venom, because I've been complaining about Venomizing things. Uh, transform three cards and upgrade them. No longer gain gold. Ooh. So, oh, damn it. One of the things you really want to do, that I find a lot of people do anyways, is when they can, they will try to get rid of as many strikes and defend cards in their deck as possible. And I'm kind of leaning towards that, but I also like gaining energy. And energy is nice, but I still want to get gold. First time I discard a card in a turn. I don't have any cards that discard though. Do I even have any? I know I have at least Survivor. Let's do this one. It's not at random, thank crap it. Which allows me to remove some of the more useless cards. Can I transform that curse? Into something useful. <laughs> Got it. Alright. One of each. Okay. Writhe is not that bad. It's just a wasted card space, pretty much. But it will always show up first, so. Uh. So one of them turned to Corpse Explosion. Nine damage. And poison. When the enemy dies, deal damage equal to its max HP to all enemies. That's fantastic. Uh, skills cost zero. When you play a skill, exhaust it. Oh, that sucks. That outright sucks. I, I don't like that power. But that's useful for the Ironclad. But for this guy... Alright, kind of doesn't matter. As long as I hit one of these three, I can hit this shop. Let's go with this one. He's got the least... Kind of pointless to use in Venom on him. If I apply poison, that goes directly to his HP. Right?
Oh. oh. Forgot he also has artifact. Wait, why is that dealing 14 damage? Upgrade three cards. Oh, right, Akabeko. Let's hold up for a bit. Uh, keeps on stacking, that's right. He has an ability called Barricade. Usually Block will just go away uh, after a little bit. But because he has Barricade, he keeps all his damned flipping crap. And I think he gets like 15 Block every turn. Alright. Slice, Slash, Survivor. Get rid of Corpse Explosion. Flash one more time. I probably could just put down dispilt, Distilled Chaos and... You know, let life loose. Ah, heck it. Ironclad, Neutralize, Flash of Street. So I get a little bit of block. But now he's no longer got Art of that. And we'll stab him with poison. So now he can actually be poisoned. Oh, we. Uh, let's change mute. Hand of Greed. Alright. Yeah. Hand of Greed is fantastic. Deal 20 damage. If fatal, gain 20 gold. Cha-ching! Let's see. Eh. Eh. Deck's pretty much... It's pretty thick with things I'm on. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna fight you guys. You can choose to just give him the money and run away, but I've got nearly 500 gold. Heck that noise. In fact, super heck that noise so much. So. I have options. Uh, I'll intimidate all of them. The first card that I do because of Akabako does eight more damage. So hit you. Oh, sadistic nature, perfect. We'll want to use corpse explosion and then stab him. Bam! First turn. <laughs> Poison is ridiculous, and I love it. Uh, think backflip. I don't think we have enough blocking cards. Ooh. Ninja scroll. At the start of each combat, add three shivs to your hand. Frick yes. So I'll demonstrate what the shivs do, but still. Uh, whenever you break an enemy's block, apply to... Ooh. Not... Ah, oh, damn it. The start of boss conflicts. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna take hand drill. Because if I can penetrate through their uh, armor, then I can do an additional 5 damage thanks to sadistic nature. Um, kinda want more HP. But meh. Shuffle so three random attacks into your draw pile. They cost two, zero this combat. Pretty good. I'm gonna do attack, colorless, flex. So mostly gonna have healing options. Ah. Let's remove a couple of like a card, namely this one. Extra corruption. Ah. ah. So went to the next shop. On this route. Ooh, I could face a boss. Yeah, there's a shop here. Here's the thing, I like to go up as against as many bosses as possible, because each time you face off against a boss, you can get an artifact. Oh yeah. Look at all those ships. Look at all this! Oh my god. 
All right, so we'll apply weak first. Because heck you. Lock. Neutralize. Uh, let's see. The block again. I'd rather a corpse explosion. So she's got a little bit of damage on her. And then dagger, dagger, dagger. We're gonna take a little bit of damage, but eh. Oh, not that turn? Alright, not that turn. She is weak, though. So heal Hulk. Ooh. Mmm. I kind of want to Ven Venom. That's in Venom. And Strike. This pretty much makes it so as any singular time that I deal damage, I can just keep on applying poison. Over and over again. Poison. More poison. I got three skills, why not? Five damage. He's gonna debuff me, but next turn after I hit... After I hit end combat, I win. So. Dr. Ah, weak poison. Yeah, let's... Oh, I can't drink because... Apply five poison. My, how lovely that is. Aw, these guys. They're adorable. But I hate them at the same time. So these guys um, are minions. It says on the tin. Minion. Sneaky Gremlin, Mad Gremlin. Each one of them have different abilities. Ah, let's see. But this guy is the big one that we want to kill. So... First attack is going to pretty much kill... Wait. Yeah, first strike is going to kill... Uh, that one. So deflect. So that one does no damage. And then we'll start daggering his boss. Oh, I should have been Venom first. Damn it. That would have allowed me to apply three poison to him directly. Eh. Yeah, these guys you want to kill off real quick because... Uh, if you just, you know, peg them for one damage a turn, they'll end up just being super strong. Let's do. Dab. And mute. So your turn, add a random colorless card into your hand. Sure. Hmm. Let's throw a weak at him. Heck you and your five damage. Um. I'll eat the five. I probably could have... Mm, eh. Some more things come to my head after I've hit a certain button. Lovely. Multiples of these. Alright. Statistic nature. Yes. Um, that guy's weakened, so I can heal hook him. Yeah, let's heal hook him. <laughs> Sorry, I love when that shit happens. Anyways, um, all right, we'll apply. That's still each enemy, right? Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, deals what, ten damage. Okay, we'll apply that to him. We'll take ten. I will defend if I can't get. Uh, let's get slice out. <laughs> Not a bad turn so far. What is this, two rounds in? Apply weak. Apply poison. Apply weak again. Flash of steel. And win. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP. Yes, please. 
Deal eight damage and then deal eight damage and then get a little bit of energy. Or why not? Um I like events. Check out what this event is. Thick black smoke. Blah, blah, blah. Receive. Ooh, no. One moment, folks. Right. Where were we? Uh, we are going to the ship. Yes. Ah. Meal ticket. <laughs> oh. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two more. 50% off of all product. Which would be great. Another crippling cloud. Oh, God. Oh, no, they make me choose some, from some good ones because at the start of combat, having an additional two energy would be great, especially after going right for the bosses. But I like the shuriken. I just spend a lot of money on that shuriken. Right to a chest. Normal enemy encounter. Normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in the event. Excellent. There's at least two more event rooms. I have next to zero money, so unless I get something like, I don't know, 200 gold by the time I hit this guy, kind of not worth it. Let's hit that elite. Oh, goody. Stab boy. So this guy is annoying. Uh, we are going to invent him. Neutralize. Uh, let's see. Minimum is nice because dagger, dagger, dagger. Flying knee to the. I'd say groin, but I guess for this guy it'd be more appropriate to say into his spine. Maybe in a plan. There can. Can only be played if there are no cards in your draw pile. Deal 50 damage to all enemies. God damn it. That's a good card. Uh, this one up. Discard all non attack cards in your hand. That works. I'm still gonna take a buttload of damage, so let's see what I can drink. Don't forget to discard pile into your draw pile. Cool. Nothing really useful. Let's do Panache, though. So we're going to take 8 damage, and he's going to apply 2 effect cards. Gold Wounds. They're unplayable. The more wounds, the worse. I'm off. So, Flash of Shield. Intimidate him. Stab. Defend, defend. One more poison, or one more... Abity. The weakened card, weakened effect is just really freaking good, guys. By the way, ooh, corpse explosion. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. I can either, I can either not take damage or poison it. Let's not take damage this time around, all right? What is this card again? All right, Panache. All right, Statistic Nature. Hell yeah. Five cards, so let's go ahead and transmute. Deals eight damage because of the number of cards in my draw pile, plus my strength. Damn it. Had I one more energy. Ah, uh, damn it. All right. Mind Blast. Is it two more I can do 10 damage? Yeah, let's do Master of Strategy. Uh, Panic Button. So he's dead. Excellent. Hmm, better at this. Every three turns, gain one energy. And yes, this is a Plants vs. Zombies reference. I love it. Deal 6 damage for each skill in your hand. Considering how skill-based this deck is, not terrible. Oh no, you. This guy's annoying. 
as with most of the monsters in this shut up um all right if I poison him with corpse explosion he's gonna take 27 damage but honestly I kind of rather just beat this guy this guy's annoying because he's got plated armor uh, we are going to fly knee, corpse explosion, slice, neutralize, dagger, dagger, dagger. Yeah, let's do a magnetism. But I'm still going to take something like 12 damage. Six nine. I probably, yeah, I easily could have killed this guy with that one turn. But honestly, sometimes there's just something more fun about completely and totally destroying your enemy. Ooh. Intimidate. Do I transmute or iron away? Oh, I'll, I'll iron wave first. Oh, yeah, I win. I might as well make this fun. Uh, God, this, ah, oh, this. Damn it! Damn it! See, it's cruel because I really like a lot of the Ironclad's cards. So, a lot of the effects are like, oh, do gain this many freaking things this turn. It's like, oh my god, please, yes. Ooh, alright. Persk, I have none. <laughs> I have literally no skills at all in my hand the very first time the fleshettes came in. Cool. Uh, on the plus side, I think I can murder this mystic. So, the mystic is annoying. Uh, they will debuff you, naturally. But their biggest thing is that they will heal the rest of the people within this party, I guess I could say. So, dagger, dagger, dagger. Quick slash. He's dead at the end of the turn. So, let's apply a corpse explosion to her. Excellent. I'll take the nine. Whatever. <laughs> I could... Venom. Yeah. Then Venom. Backflip. Into a flash of shield. Oh, neutralize. More poison to him. Damn it. So close. If I could play how many more skills? One more skill. I could make this pseudo flawless victory. Why am I even saying pseudo flawless? It's not even a flawless. Nowhere close to flawless. Oh well. Um. Intimidate. Just watching him die from going, yes, I'm menacing. It's funny. Ooh. If I could draw this first turn with the Akabeko. Oh, damn. Four random enemies. What is my boss this time? This jerk. Okay. I could also just pass it up. Yeah, my deck is getting pretty thick. I could remove a card, I think, with the amount of money I have, or get a potion. Yeah. Also, meal ticket. <laughs> Gain three thorns for combat, six poison, 20 damage. No removal, sadly, because I don't have the money. Deal 12 damage, apply two weak, or... Apply two weak and gain. Oh. Yeah, it'd have to be ore because that's 
97 damage or 97 coin and I've only got 91 that would be hmm kind of like this one but I do need more block Potions are kind of life, though, so. Alright, buy something. I did. Alright. Ooh, if I could get... Explody thingy. I don't really need to... Def actually. Poison. Reflect. I can cast a defend. Everyone gets hit. Uh, dagger, dagger, dagger. One more. For the road. Another one. So what I want my next turn is to get the corpse explosion, because then that guy can boom, and then I can just move along. None of those are corpse explosion. Damn it. Well, um, if I'm going to apply poison, I'd rather apply it to an enemy that's going to uh, remain for a little bit. So here's what I'll do. I'll... Actually, wait. How much poison do you have on you? Four? Ah, oh, man. Alright, I'm going to clothesline this one, poison stab him, panic button. Prevents all the damage. And this way if I get a corpse explosion this coming turn, they're all dead. They get progressively stronger, which kind of sucks. There you are. And... I gotta, I gotta say, Corpse Explosion is easily one of the more fun ones to use. Ooh, Thunderclap. This is really good in combination. Oh wait, probably too vulnerable. Yeah, this is really good in combination with the um, Sadistic Nature. One second. Sadistic Nature, that's to all or just to one? To an enemy. Okay. I imagine that if there's an upgrade version, it's going to be better. But I think I'll take that. Alright. I could heal all my HP. Oh, first, let me just double check. Okay, that's only increased damage. Never mind. Barely any of my cards are all that great. Like, none of them are... I don't think any of them are. I have Corpse Explosion. Yeah, Corpse Explosion is the only one that's been upgraded in my entire deck. That's kind of hilarious. I'm going to rest, though. And head off against this annoying piece of shit. So this is the Bronze Automaton. Ooh. I can undo all of his artifact right now. Why wouldn't I do that? That's a brilliant guy. Dagger. 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 It's crippling cloud. It suck. Freaking poison, bitch. Anyways. Um. Why not? Suck more poison. I probably should have done that when I was more grievously injured, but the faster that he dies. The victory. Alright, so he has weak. I can apply weak. Oh my god. See, this is where I need more energy because I want to apply all these effects. I could also apply poison to these orbs and they will, of course, progressively help out more. But I think I'm going to use Survivor to discard that. The enemy has weak. Gain more. Hmm. Do I corpse explosion to apply nine poison? Or do I poison and defend? 
Play a little bit smart. Longer game. I'm able to do it. The annoying part, though, is that these minions will take the top card of my deck. There's my sadistic nature. Frick. They'll take the top card of my deck. And remove it. Oh my god, I was able to play every single goddamn card that came into my hand. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be able to get Statistic Nature probably this coming turn. Maybe. If I can do enough damage to that minion. I have one, because of course. I'll flying knee it. That'll kill it. So I'll focus on one of these guys again. I'm less worried about this guy. A lot worried about this guy because I just saw that he's going to hit twice for 10. Um, you know, I don't think he actually does summon, summon minions back. So he's vulnerable now, but I'm still going to take like 15 damage. No, 23 total. Alright, Sadistic Nature, Slice, Quick Slash, um, no Venom yet, a little disappointing. Neither of them are attacking this turn, so I don't want to use, I don't need to, rather, use them. Ah, uh, that was the annoying thing. This guy buffs up the leader. Oh, goody. He's going to hit me for 51. Oh, no. Iron Wave. Deflect. Um. Uh, Corpse Explosion. Oh, man. If I striked, I could have hit him with a vulnerable. Hmm. Can I last four more rounds? Because this is going to be... This is going to put me at... Just barely living! Ow! So he's stunned. Cool. He's going to hit me for eight. I don't think I got anything to fix this. Yeah, I got nothing to fix this. I, if I could do enough damage to him quickly enough. Let's see, that's 12. 28. 33. Then I could... Well, let me see what I got for secret weapon. I got two skills in my hand, so I could have flechettes do 12. Or I can quickly slash him for... Six. Or neutralize. And apply some weak. This is not gonna work. Oh, I've already got weak! An idiot! Oh well. Oh, but it'll be what? It'll be three attacks, so the last well two attacks with a third, then poison. Maybe? Duck poison. All right, so I just need to hit him for shitload of damage. <laughs> oh, I win. Survivor for the hell of it. Poison. Dead. Near dead myself. But to heck with it, I win. Uh, gain energy, draw two cards, and exhaust. Or die, 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 which does 13 damage to all enemies. I'll take die, die, die. Right, attacks that cost zero deal. 
Oh my god, yes! No longer see enemy intense. That kind of sucks. At the end of your turn, no longer discard your hand. That really sucks. We're taking Wrist Blade. Because that, in combination with the um, Ninja Scroll, which adds three shivs to my hand, not to mention the several attacks that I have that make it so as I can uh, just straight up do damage for zero energy. That's fantastic. Hate you. Hate this thing. Alright. So... We're gonna spin some... Um, slash of Steel first. Quick Slash next. Okay. See, I was trying to get the Envenom. That way I can use all of my, cir my zero attacks. And uh, do some damage. But we'll backflip next. There we go. Um, we'll do Die Die Die. Slice. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Oh, he's gonna... What are you gonna apply to me? I could panic, but I'm not gonna panic button. That panic button has been really good pretty much this entire combat. This entire game, rather. Ooh, hello. I have one skill in my hand for flechettes. Cool. Oh, here we go. Neutralize. Heal hook. Uh, flechette. I think that's the fastest I've ever killed one of those, strangely enough. Alright, we want to go... I kind of want to go this way, because shop. But I can hit the boss and then the shop. I think I'll hit the boss and then the shop. Oh boy. Boy, howdy. Oh yeah. Die, die, die. Uh, none of them have weak, but I can fix that with going like this. Oh no, they all have weak. That's right, they all start with weak because of the red mask. Gush. So I murder this one, came back in energy. Uh, stab that one. Dagger. Dagger. Cool. Um, suffer a wound. Draw two cards, put a card on the hand, top of the draw pile. Again, my deck is getting pretty damn thick at the moment, so. Event time. So let me make your way. Whispering voices. Ooh. I did say that I would take. And if I could, I'd take two madness. I'd take nine damage. Or I can just go on, but lose four max. Alright, so... I'll go this way. I'll, I'll start going this way, see how my health is by the time I hit that intersection. Hi, Spire Growth! Oh, you're weakened. So that's a plus. Let's take secret weapon. How many skills do I have in my hand? Two. The so flechettes would hit for plus eight. That'd be 14, 28 damage right off the bat. That's not a terrible idea. Oh no, wait. It's seven damage for each. Oh, cause deadly poison. Okay. Never mind. I can't mia. Bigger wears off, that's fine. Dagger. 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 Uh he's not attacking. So I'll poison him some more. This run's I don't want to jinx this run, but this run's going pretty good. Oh good, constricted. This makes it so as I will take damage at the end of my turn. Flash of steel. Not to mention he'll hit me for 22. Yay. Ah, oh, he's not weakened. Poison, defend. 
strike. Best I can do. It's gonna hit me for 22. Ow. Looks like I'm healing afterwards. Right, nature. Flash him. Madness. Cool. I'm only gonna take 9 damage this turn. Sorry, I'm only gonna take 18 damage this turn. 19 damage this turn. I can't math. Damn it, where's all my weakened cards? That was, that was close line. I mean, I can win this round. <sighs> I'm gonna take the sword boomerang this time around. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit that camp first. Alright, one quick moment. No one knew me until I donned the red mask. Sorry about that. There's just a situation where I had to help with groceries, and now Monty is here on my lap, and he's been adorable, so I couldn't possibly say no to that. We'll heal. Oh, and we can go to the shop. Because I've got a shitload of money. Let's see. No. For each curse in your deck. Ooh. Start each combat with one strength. How many curses do I have? One. One. One curse. Ah, ah, ah. Start each elite battle with two strength. Ooh, that's a pretty good one, too. I could just go straight apotheosis. Hmm. Damn it, there's a lot of good cards this time. Um. Because I can take the voodoo doll, and I don't think I don't see the backstab here. That would be. Shit, if I use that first turn, that would be. 19. Damage plus my. Oh, that would be 23 damage right off the bat. And then I can effectively afford one of these. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Kill. That's, it's a little late to get the toxic egg. Start each combat with two strength, though. That is pretty fantastic. I might completely ignore these. Get the apotheosis. Get the backstab. <laughs> and then remove one card. Which I... Since I don't need curses, if I'm not going to take that voodoo doll, I'll take and get rid of the ride. Ah. And then... Um... Black potion. Ah... Now, since I don't need rest as badly, I think I'm going to upgrade that apotheosis. Because then it makes it one. And then that will automatically upgrade all my cards, so I don't ever need to worry about upgrading ever again. What are we got? Start each combat with 10 block. That's pretty nice. Especially seeing as I'm going to try to wall up one of these here. Oh, no. Most anything but you. Alright. So we'll start with Apotheosis because of yes. Um This is random, right? Yeah. Alright. So because the other two are minions, I think I can destroy her first and foremost. Let's see how much damage I can do. Backstab, 27. Ooh. Flex. Flex. So that is 32 for the first strike. Oh, wait. Damn it. I was hoping that was going to be the close line, but that's fine. 
Oh, we'll go ahead and use this defend. Oh, wow, I can actually use all my cards. Sod it. Um... I guess I'll backstab you. Trigger's worn off, which kind of sucks, but... Eh. And it's three attacks, so I can... Dagger, dagger, dagger. And then use the rest of my attacks on Reptomancer. Dagger. Jib. Dab. Close line. Victory is mine. Eventually. She will summon up two more minions. Well, one minion a turn. What is that? Three skills with the flushettes? Yes. Well, wait. Eight times three is twenty-four. Because that is math. I could defend die die oh. Hmm. Ah, oh, but then the flechette would do no damage. Oop. And then we'll do block is not removed at the start of Ooh, hello. Apply that in there. Alright, you want down, I get it, I get it. Go on. Are you really sizing up and jumping off of my lap, Monty? God, I wish I wish you guys could see Monty, he's freaking adorable. Alright, that kills that guy. And we'll uppercut. Badly, that's as much as I'm gonna do to you for the moment. Oh, you're gonna do 18 damage. And cause weakened. That's not cool. Alright, looks like she's going to be slapping me. Why are we? Heal hook. Intimidate. Corp the explosion, because that's always fun. And slash. Okay. I only need to do. What is that? 13 damage to her? Enemy loses X strength, apply X weak. That's pretty nasty. That'd be four strength, four weak. Apply deflect. I'll disarm. Um. Then sword boomerang, hope for the best. Really? All of them? All of them on that one bat. All right, fine. Uh, defend. I'll kill that one. Relays on you. Victory. Really? The molten egg? Actually, no. The molten... Ooh. Yes. The molten egg will actually be pretty fantastic. Alright. Add three plus shivs. I don't have that ability to. Hmm... I'm definitely... Yeah. Take the energy potion. In cases. Alright. Begin to fall. Oh no. There's madness. It just... Oh. I guess I'll lose the madness. There's everything else I actually like. Whereas that one... Madness is just nice. Oh. You. This might be where my uh, run ends. Depending. Really depending. Going Venom first. Because this guy can hit really, really hard, really randomly. So we will... Because every attack I do now poisons. So... Backstab. Slice. Neutralize. Flying me. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Damn. Good first turn. 
Did just over 100 damage to him. Or. That's pretty much his warning of like, I'm going to start doing a lot of damage soon. Well, Apotheosis. Flash of shield. Um, Spurtling Cloud. Three damage on me. Or team speed. Ah, yes. Secret weapon. Very useful for getting out my slice. God damn. Whenever you play a card, Giant Head receives 10% more damage from attacks this turn. Oh, okay. So he's already weakened. So I can use Steel Book. Was it two skills in my hand? Well, Flechette. I'll use Defend. Duh. That's Poison. Poisonous Dagger. That's good. Fighting against this guy could be really, really long. Depending on how unlucky I get. Hello. We will close the dagger. Thank you. Thank you. I got three. No. Could die, die, die. I'll backflip, see what I get. Flex, because why not? Yeah, the most damage will be with die, die, die. Cool. 31 poison. Not doing too shabby. Yeah, now here's where he starts going. No, stop that, please. All right. He doesn't have weak. Nice secret. I will madness the heal book. I'm about to take a buttload of damage. Defend, defend, heal book. I'll only take 14. That's fine. Alright, now is probably when I should use the panic button. Yeah, let's use that panic button. Next couple of rounds will be a little bit but I'd rather have that than hate myself for it. Gain zero block. Oh, right. Panic button. Up. Strike. Explosion. And 11 damage. I win. Yeah. Big giant head can suck it. An enemy dies, transfer any poison it has to a random enemy. Yes. Holy shit, yes. Uh, we'll not take any this time. Probably could have also gone to the shop. Meh. Alright. Yeah, this is where it starts. Stuff is gonna start stucking. So I want to... Oops, explosion, this guy. Everyone's weak. Should I wait? Go... Defend first, because these ones are called spikers for a reason. They will just straight up do damage to you when you attack them. Right. That was two. Frick. Um... I mean, I can kill him. And then he'll explode. Dagger. Dagger. I'm not gonna use the other dagger. Excellent. Duplication potion? Oh, hell's the yes. Alright, we'll take flying knee. This is a really big check. <laughs> We're just gonna rest because I have apotheosis. And then we're going to face the awakened one. It's not yet awake. Kind of misleading if you ask me. 
No, let's see. They're all weakened. They're all slap. Oh, wait. I was mistaking Flying Knee for another one. Excuse me. Alright, I can slap these other two tricks. You want down finally? You're gonna go down? There you go. So I can slap these other two. With death. Which would be a smart idea. Dagger, dagger. I'll use one of my blocks. Dagger. Give that one. All good. All good in the hood. This guy's got ritual now, which sucks. Oh, of course. Hmm. I'm wondering whether or not I have the uh stuff to deal with these guys. The defense, I mean. One moment, folks. All right, let's see how many more interruptions we get this entire evening. All right, so, I'll see. Hmm, this is gonna hurt. There's no way around it. I'm gonna take damage. I'm gonna save the madness. For later. Because I do have more expensive cards for it. Sure. All right, so we will... If I could draw... No, that's a skill card. Never mind. So we'll die, die, die. Slice. Poison. Intimidate! And we got one more... Energy on us. So why don't we apply that with a... Oh, wait. Nope. Yeah. Never mind. Alright. That's gonna be 24 damage. Yeah, the buggery of this guy is that he heals for a lot really quickly. When you play a power card, gain one strength. Oh, there's that too. That's what we like to call not good. So we'll defend. Quick slash. Apotheosis. We'll neutralize. And I think that's about it. Well, I think this might have been one of my crappiest runs against the Awakened. Yeah, it's not looking very good. Alright, um, shoot. I want to prevent as much damage as possible. So we will... Rippling Cloud. Select. Flash of Steel. Then I will use the Duplication card. Go, go, go. Cloak and Dagger. That will give me 12 defaults. Then I can Venom. Dagger. 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 Dagger, 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 dagger. Um, I could use this in order to get one more attack off. That would heal me a little bit, so. Yeah, that's four poisons, one per, and then for each one, it's five additional damage. Oh my god! Yes, I just unironically went, oh my god. Okay. We're in this, I think. Backflip. Prevent some damage. I could just corpse explosion. 
think I'll defend, and I'll make it so as he does no damage. We'll transmute. Put four random attack cards from your draw pile into your hand. As long as they're the zero attack ones, yes please. Oh, from my draw pile, not this card. Shut up. Oh man, I'm sitting here with no potions. 23 out of 70 health. And um, we're not done with this guy yet. Alright. Could panic. Could be a terrible idea. Neutralize, slice, poison. Grrr, he says. Yeah, I can't play any more cards on him. Because now we go into phase two. He is stronger and has just as much HP as before. Um, I think he's going to kill me. Bend. Bend. I still have... Yeah. Dagger. 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 He's going to leave me with, like... 3 HP. Yep. Don't forget he heals. Um... God. I... I lose. I lose here. Damn it. This was such a good run too, but there was... My deck was a little bit crowded. It did have a lot of things that just... Didn't really work alongside of it. Not to mention it had very few really useful defensive cards. You know, besides defend. And I really do like the Cloak and Dagger. That was a really good card. It's just, um... Doesn't help too much... When you're dying. Otherwise, though, this was an extremely well... You know, ish made, put together deck with a lot of poisonous effects and a lot of quick damage. Especially with the Envenom. Did I actually... Yeah, I think I have already unlocked everything with... This guy. I wonder where that even puts me. Where am I on the climb? View my score. No score is available. Go slide this. I just did that, though. Oh, it went over until the next day. Hmm. Well, alright then. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, call it a run here. Um, I'm probably going to do a couple more of these. I don't know if I'm going to make it into a thing where I just daily make a run through the spire. Might be a thing. At the least, it'll be a change of pace from what I usually play, which is a robot named Fight. Which I love a robot named Fight. But I played a lot of robot named Fight. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little run up the spire as much as I did. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.